traffic backups. And after seeing the video, many are asking, could this have been prevented? Our Kitty Alvarado spoke with the use of force expert to get some answers. I'm going to shoot you. Drop it. These are the final moments of a deadly officer involved shooting on the 10 freeway in Whitewater on April 9th. The body camera footage was released by the Riverside County Sheriff's Department. The shooting left 40-year-old Gabriel Munoz Jr. of Cathedral City dead on the shoulder of the westbound lanes. Robert, can five shots fired. Before the deadly confrontation, he was smashing cars with rocks. Came up to the car with a really big rock and smashed the windshield. We spoke with two use of force and de-escalation experts about the incident. Tommy Burns with Burns and Associates, a retired law enforcement officer who's been teaching and training officers for nearly five decades, says the freeway is a game changer. I'm surprised there wasn't a, a fatal accident. Drop it. He says the deputy gave clear commands. Okay. Sir, I'm going to shoot you. He desperately tried to de-escalate the person and the person crossed the freeway, came over the guardrail, and was coming for the officer. Was his intent suicide by cop, or was his intent to crush the skull of the uh, police officer? I don't think there was any room for the officer to retreat. He's on a freeway, and the officer had no alternative except to use deadly force. Paul Taylor is a former law enforcement sergeant and training officer and an expert in police decision-making and safe contacts with the public. He says most people can't process all of the dangers happening in this scenario. A lot of dynamics at play. He says the officer clearly tried to de-escalate. Don't come closer. I'm going to start dropping. But de-escalation is a two-way street. The person doesn't even doesn't acknowledge what the officer is saying. In fact, is doing the opposite of what the officer is asking him to do. And at this point, the deputy can't back up anymore, leaving him with no choice. But was lethal force his only choice? I got nothing else other than my gun. He put out on the radio, the only option that I have right now is his gun. He's right about that. He didn't have time to transition to another tool. We know that some of those other tools have fairly high ta uh, failure rates. He says while it's important to analyze these incidents, we must also look deeper at the cause. Where did the system fail this guy? Are there mental health issues there? Is there a way that we can intervene in these situations before they end so tragically? Burns says the effects of this tragedy will be long lasting. The family of this person, the suspect, it's, it's, it's a tragedy for them, tragedy for the police officer, and tragedy for the police force. Kitty Alvarado, NBC Palm Springs. An Anaheim man accused of using a BB gun to shoot out car windows on Southern California freeways.